go ahead. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Nidhi and I live in India. So in regard to this International Internship University, first of all, I'm really grateful to the International Internship University for giving me an opportunity to be here with you all and sharing my information and the knowledge that I have gathered through all these years with you all. So let's talk something and know more about International Internship University. We also call it IIU. So International Internship University is a leading virtual education system and global brand confederation, which is the most valuable and trusted worldwide and well reputed in developing innovative programs. Globally, it is trusted name for quality training programs and is committed to providing better and virtual education to all the youth learners around the globe. In a short span of time, IIU has spread its wings in 195 countries and six continents under the strong leadership of its visionary founder, Mr. Piyush Pandit Sir, a committed and inspiring social activist, a passionate educationist from the last two decades, providing education to students from various social and cultural backgrounds. The introduction about IIU has been much impressive up till now. So now let's begin with today's session for the learning which comes from the branding and the business strategies. So I think uh, strategies is mostly a broader term under which we will have to talk about the branding. And I think we all know today branding is something which is much needed if your brand does not speak or your company is not talking much about themselves, then you are not interacting much with the audience who's around. So today, let's begin. I'm sure I share my screen. Okay, so I just hope that you are able to share and see my screen. Yes. Perfect. So let's run a slideshow. So we're talking of the PR and the branding. So the PR and branding, uh, PR would mean public relations and branding comes with that. However, uh, when you are creating a brand name about you, today it is not only the personal branding which comes in, however, it goes digitally. So now if you talk of the branding, it comes under a larger umbrella of digital marketing, social media, and the PR. These will be the outputs that we will get when we work on the right strategies for the branding. So the company could be anything. It could be an NGO. It could be an organization. It could be working towards an AI or any of the major things or maybe something new. Until unless you have spoken enough about the company and whatever activities are you undertaking with it and what are your ethos that you're following, you will not be able to grab that kind of an attention which is needed. And while that attention isn't it created, you cannot have a brand towards it, which is a meaningful brand. That's where we all aim to. So I think if you talk of something in terms of digitally getting incorporated so which includes everything about social media seo videos what will be the roi sem these are the things which you are much aware of however there is one thing which i would like to all focus on is the content wherever you go whatever you do until unless your content is not that convincing enough for the people to understand your brand may not speak well the, your brand may not connect well so the good content comes from the right strategies that we'll have to work on. And that's what we'll be talking today, today about. This is the PR building. What will be the better career options if somebody is looking into it since it's an university? What will be the firms who use social media? Should you use only the social media way or should you use advertising to the television or it goes under the print? Everything comes under that. Then is the influencer marketing. This is much in demand. 
and you cannot have a good brand until unless a personal brand is not been created is what we always talk about these days therefore the personal branding is equally important today so there are a lot a lot of things which have come up today and we all know these online forums live streamings podcasts and chatbots these are something which is new but however there are a lot of companies who are making good use of it towards building their own brand name so we should not miss on any of these forums or these all technologies which are the new emerging trend for today's people that's where a lot of people are connected today and if you see the most of the ratio of the people they are mostly on mobiles therefore they are on social media and the digital marketing works well there and the print and the television and the advertising have gone slightly lesser in the figures in the times to come so there are voice over searches there are talk shows that happen these are the things so now the social media is one of the way wherein we are trying to create the pr and other such stuff for a brand what could be the right kind of a social media strategy for a brand to come up with this is important and we are all communicating through social media these days the entrepreneurs and the professional both have to use social media these days so now it could be an entrepreneur who is having a vision that yes like eon mas there are others also so we have some eminent these there is this mr anand mahindra from the mahindra so he has his own company however at the same time he is communicating well with the audience across through the social media patterns and that is what is building a brand name and he is communicating the ethos and the ways the values and what is it that this company stands for it comes from the founder's message that is always around it having a good profile with a credible kind of a brand value matters when a founder itself has a good brand value in a professional space on social media and the professionals also so what would be the right way if we talk of these people who should be there so now this is they need to express themselves in a very nice manner the social media has to be used very really meaningfully gone are those days when we talk of the social media just for the sake of sharing and just for the sake of that we are we are sharing some of the family news and information and maybe something funny that's coming up however today social media revolves around the content creation and the vision to have a right ethos communicated across especially when you are an entrepreneur it makes even more sense when we are there and we work towards that thing people are using it very genuinely very cleverly and smartly rather i'll add to it so that they are now able to create that impact about themselves as well as about their brand also through social media this has become cheap this has uh, like a good reach people will be able to communicate to you directly suppose there are problems around like there are issues when we have we talk of the swiggy and other such things so there are things wherein the things did not turn out well so now in those all cases the social media has come up very well and nicely rather than going to any of the forums or writing letters and other such stuff one tweet or one linkedin message has helped in bringing up the matter to the right people in the management about these brands now that's where you have a very direct connect with the people around and your problems are getting solved this becomes easy handy and much more practical in the times to come which we are seeing it today itself that's where your brand value also counts when the person who has the issue is communicating that thing being taken up and being solved upon and then you have a result also coming up on social media these things have become very meaningful when we talk of a brand and its value that we are creating across everybody is watching you through the social media that actually adds much of the meaning if you are able to create the right impact with your brand and then when these all things happen definitely there is a new person there is a new person who may be called as an inspiration who is there as a mentor somebody who can look on to somebody who can communicate somebody who has a vision to talk and the there are words and the values which are more meaningful when they're talking to the people around you definitely find out a new person within yourself 
So how a one person can have a better online image about themselves? This is mostly comes under the personal branding that we talk of. And you should be a genuine person. When the post is genuine, a lot of people will appreciate. They may give their own honest comment onto it. Maybe their own opinions also, they will be sharing it. Now, you should also be a person who should comment, who should give some feedback, who should share some of these things. Like if I talk of the Mr. Mahindra, so he's doing it very meaningfully and he tries to bring that impact and you will be able to feel and understand and associate well the way he's using it. He does comment whenever it is required. And there are other people in the celebrity industry, like you talk of the Akshay Kumar. So there are some people who are using it very meaningfully. They are trying to bring that value to it. You need to understand that the brand does not only count of the company itself, but it also talks about the founder. The founder has to have that kind of a value, the meaning and that kind of a vision that he has to keep on communicating from time to time to the social media. And there are people who follow like uh, I think Mr. Mahindra, he follows Modi and Mr. Um, Mr. Abhishek. Bachchan, and there are other celebrities who are managing all of these things. And these profiles of the other inspiring personalities, they keep on following each other. So what will be the way by which you can also create a brand about yourself? And if I will talk of some of the startups and all of these people who are coming up with the new ways of working on social media, you may have your business, which is doing well, and it is years old. However, there is a time when you should have your own digital presence across. Now, what is happening is there are times when the, uh, the page, the brand page may not work well, may not have that level of engagement, but the name of a founder or the founder's profile may have a better engagement. So why to lose that momentum and why to lose those kind of these things which are actually giving you right perspective and then you are not paying anything. This has come all organically being done. So you are able to do that through your own personal handle or your through own personal details as well can also be done and taken well. That's where the personal branding comes into the picture. Now, before I actually begin, I would like to talk of the strategies which may work. So uh, the personal brand, also does not come very easy. Yes, it is one person who will communicating, but then you're talking and communicating more about your brand. What are the ethos? How is it that they're working? What is it that your focus is on about? These are the things which one needs to actually understand and then should come up and write about these things on the social media. If you go unplanned, if whatever you're talking is not making sense, then you will be very brutally being taken up and being trolled on social media that's not going to happen that will not give you the right mileage that you're actually looking out for your brand so now for all those who are coming up new so the startups and other such people who are the entrepreneurs of tomorrow they need to talk of something new meaningful you should break all these rules, which are about the age, the gender, the seniority. That is not what you're talking of, or we should be focusing on. If you focus on all these things, then definitely things will be more towards all these thought processes that you are already trying to develop or create in your mind. Just don't go by those rules. Times have changed. There are new strategies which you should work on. Maybe you should talk more about your philosophy, maybe some stories that you bring up or come up from some of these places or these things which are more towards, you know, some incident that has happened. How would you have reacted to it? It has become more towards your own interpretation about those situations and the ways. If you think that this is what you are doing in your brand as well, so try to make a strategy around it and then have the social media people who should be able to create the right content around it. Now, you may have the right thought process, but if the content isn't given that very well, so then again, you will have not the right strategy. Again, if the content is delivered well with the right strategy, but if the right hashtags are not being used, then again, you have lost some of the momentum. 
So all of these come things, all of these things come very handy and they will all work together when you do all of these things in a proper way. For every post, all these things should be done in a very proper manner. Not only that, you should also work to create some kind of a real picture. If there is a story about the real narration, then yes, you should have a real photograph about it that speaks an impact. Not only this, if suppose you are trying to talk of some of the past incidents or there is something which has been the past way of bothering, if there are new government policies, it's better that you rather than sharing all of these things, you talk of what is your opinion. How is it that that's good or if it is bad, you need to have an opinion. It could be right, it could be wrong, but that has to come from your own thought process, which should talk more about you as a thought leader, as an expert in that field. Otherwise, this may also need to have all those things which are relevant for your coming up business processes. You may would like to talk of, you may like to share all of these things, when you are giving an opinion about any of these things, it's very important that you also make a note of what is it that will help. How is it different? If you're saying that this is not right, then why is it not right? Talk about the why factor. Talk about how this thing is going to impact the industry in a better manner or it is not going to be helpful in the industry in the times to come. That will make an impact for you as a thought leader, wherein you will be given more mileage and your opinion and your thoughts are given that weightage. So at the end, please just stop thinking what the others have to say. There will always be people who are going to be criticizers. There will always be people who will say that, yeah, this isn't said well, or there could have been another opinion. Well, if there are people who keep on trolling you, you should talk to them. It should be in an open forum itself. You can have the comment section, use that area and try to bring it on with a subtle manner and with your own objective point of views. Rather than pinpointing them and blocking them and creating a rage around it, that will not help you. This will actually pull you down. Your image is not going to have that impact which we actually wanted to make it or we wanted to create in the times to come. So be very, very careful when you're doing any of these things. There are times when the professionals can also be the influencers. I would like to take one example of this individual who is Mr. Uncle Vikru. He is much known today and all he has developed these kind of profiles is only through the LinkedIn. There was time when he was just picking up the LinkedIn, but today if you see, he is doing it all in all the places, which also includes the YouTube advertising, which also includes some of the ways wherein he's on to Twitter also at the moment. And he's trying to utilize all these platforms which are completely driven by the social media. These things who are helping him, he has written some books also, he's trying to sell them also, he has been an entrepreneur and the things are going well. They're all going well all around the stories that he has created. You can check up his record and it is not only 3000 by now, there are some posts wherein he have more than 14,000 kind of uh, likes only or the impressions may go more than 20K. This is one of a very classic example by which a person has created and create and built and branding about himself just by the use of right social media strategies. It's not only is helpful for him as a person branding, but it's also helpful for his brand. The way he's trying to communicate, people are getting interested. He gave advices, he talked more on the social media and that's how people are connected. More people have started following him in the times to come. And now is the time when I see him creating more of an impact through all these social media channels. And now he does the advertising as well. He himself is the face of the organization wherein he's talking about all these aspects himself. How he does it, he does it through his own personal experiences and the way he communicates the story to the people around. He pick, picks up these stories from the experiences that has happened from his own life. It's not only that he is doing well, along with it, his organization is also performing well. There is a credibility that it's added to him and also the organization. That's what we talk of an impact wherein the brand strategy works. 
he may have started incidentally there was a time when he just shared it just for the sake of sharing it but he has been able to create an impact among the readers or all those social media people who have been listening or reading his post gradually he never knew it but yes this has happened that gradually he has grown to phenomenal success this goes very slowly it has been an organic growth that we have seen and observed about him this growth may have taken somewhere around 7 to 8 years but today is the time when the fruits are ripe and now is the time when he is earning the profit of the mileage that he has there are new organization who are trying to build such kind of a momentum but here it's only just one person who has that momentum which multiplies to that level that's where the power of social media goes when it talks of the branding so now one may think which will be the right platform to choose for there are people who say that the facebook is dead there are people that the linkedin isn't it working there are people who says that twitter has gone lost the moment eon milk has taken over it and insta is not so good people will talk n number of things about n number of platform these are the most used platform till today look at the figures you will get to know however if you talk of today's time there are 20 more such kind of platforms which have different way of communication in terms of the content video is also a content communication through your text and words is also a content communicating through the websites is also a content all of these things are content you can have an advertising and create a video around a story that is also a content how you want your content to be placed floated and talk and communicate about the brand is also very important the strategy is lies and work well if you have a coordinated team who is there when the social media is around the person of from a social media team is there you have a strategist you have a thinker you have a person who talk of the marketing the strategies the vision from a leadership team these can be the six seven core people who can come up discuss decide and devise the right way to move ahead with the social media strategy anyhow the same strategies goes well in terms of the advertising also you will have to talk of a vision you will have to communicate it in a manner by which you are able to communicate your product in a very mature and a sensible manner if you look at the ads today so many ads have turned about social driven causes there are ads which talk more of the like things which are socially driven they have a huge impact there are change makers people try to bring today the real change makers from the basic world the real common world rather than the models or the celebrities the reason is these people have worked on the ground and then their impact will be completely different you will see there will be a lot of hand, handicapped people there are artists who are handicapped and then they are brought into these advertising the reason why some of the brands or rather a greater amount of brands today are doing all of it is because these people are real people when people are real then these words or the brand message are or called as a face of this organization or a campaign will matter when we have the real people so the brand is trying to communicate that yes we are actually connected with the real people who are actual consumers and the buyers we are not talking of any hypothetical world so what will be the face who is going to be the face who can work for the advertising so these are the things which anyone will have to decide think in very broader manner to understand how it goes sync and in well with your social media strategy i have seen with my own experience there are times when the brand do not have the right sync between social media and the marketing and advertising which is a bad image if you both are poles apart your social media team is not in sync with what your branding strategy is talk of what you are actually communicating through your advertising then this is going to be hey why this will not going to give you any results rather it's it's actually killing your roots within you both of these people are actually trying to kill both of them it's like the enemies fighting together you won't reach anywhere 
Therefore, it is very crucial that you have the right social media team who is in sync with whatever your vision is. That's how the communication should float. Otherwise, you may not have right strategies and the result will not be that way. I have seen some of the times wherein the social media campaigns being run by large organizations, they work wonder. When the real people, the influencers, they have been called upon and those campaigns work really well. And at times, social media comes slightly cheaper in terms of the costing as well when we talk of the television. Being a startup person or maybe when you are around a lot of startups, then this would make sense if you have the right social media team and the campaign work well. Think of the right strategy, then only things will work wonder. Okay, digital marketing is definitely be a pro when you would like to build a brand. You need to be an innovative person. Whatever that you add is the PR. So now that PR will become your asset in the times to come. When you think that nobody is watching you, when you think that your likes are not too high, when you think that this is not well accepted and nobody has interacted, you are wrong. Whatever you are communicating through your post, through your messages, whatever platform you choose, it is getting communicated. The world is reading. Does that the likes are not coming, that doesn't mean that the people are not watching you, that the people are not seeing you. This will be a huge mistake, huge cross mistake that you may have in your minds. Any day, whenever somebody is reading, they will get to know. Okay, so I think we always refer Google for a lot of things. It could be which is a good hair dryer to buy, which can be a right mixer, which would be, you know, the right mobile. What vehicle should I buy? Which car is the best? Which bike should I buy? Now, all these things, how are we searching today? We are doing it over Google. So now, up till now, I spoke about the social media and why you should work and focus more on the social media. Another reason to add to it is the Google. Because whatever you're talking on the social media is going where? It's coming on the Google itself. So when you have your Google, then only you are able to communicate. You're not asking these days with any of your friends. You are checking the reviews. You are checking everything which is managed, controlled, and is also placed. You can see everything on Google. That's where the concept comes in. When your good social media strategy is being searched well over the Google, you will automatically attract those people who may be interested. If these people are interested with the strategies that you have worked on, that means there is a brand name that you have built. Because somebody anonymously coming from the Google to you directly would mean that they have an impression about you, which is good enough. An impression which has an impact. And they are convinced this much that, yeah, whatever we are talking of, they will be able to serve us well. Then comes the costing and other such factors which we will work or maybe we are not working on this time, but that comes later. But at least when you do the right branding, the right strategies in place, at least people have a hope and they are attracted to come and at least ask what you are doing, the scope of work, what would be the quote. These things work well when the social media branding and the team has worked really well in coordination with each other. Then yes, you see your name on the Google and that's where the leads will start generating. Before I actually move on to the next slide, I would also like to talk of one more thing, which is you need to have some patience. There are times when the strategy may not work well, the campaign may not bring in those results which were required. You need to go back and check what was the target audience that you have opt for. So is this target audience is the right target audience or have you been able to convince them enough on the social media? 
regular feedback, regular follow-up, regular RCA, root cause analysis is very vital. You never know who changed when, what work will. None of these things are ever been able to understood well until the leads have been generated, until you are not able to have the right feedback team. A team who keeps on monitoring the right boost, the right results, the right lead are coming. Because we have seen in the past that the leads are there, but they were from not the right people. The leads coming in, but the leads were just only the inquiries. It happens in a lot of campaigns that these things may not work really well. So your marketing team and your social media team have to keep on working, trying to understand what is it. And there are people or there are firms we have seen who are only working on the branding. Social media, they say that social media is just to create hype, the, I'm sorry, the buzz, and just to name, build a name. They're not meant for creating the leads. There are people who think like that. Like through the advertising. What is it that's happened with the advertising? The advertising is only an awareness kind of a campaign. This is not generating you leads, but it's creating a impact of the name that your brand has. So think, what is the thing that you wanted to achieve? What are your goals that you want to achieve with all these kind of strategies? That will help. I would like to take a very classic example. I think we all would know who Mr. Ratan Tata is. So he is a person who has worked as a chairman in the Tata Industries. Tata Group of Industries itself is a huge name but the impact that he individual has also reflects through the ethos of the Tata company that they are following. There was a time when they steadily forward refused to take the, you know, the spare parts and other such stuff for one of their motor from the country which India does not have good relations with. They were very upfront to say no rather than they put up their own plant and try to have made in India kind of the concept. But they never compromised on their ethos. The value that they have engrailed within themselves, those values of that individuals are communicated through their actions in the company itself. That's a very powerful message that somebody can actually give. So you know who's the face when the face and the ethos and the mission, the vision, the philosophy, they all go well about one individual. It work wonders for the organization also. I don't know how many people are following Tata abroad, but Tata itself has earned a huge name within India. And much of the credit goes to Mr. Ratan Tata. Is one person who may not speak of it, but he worked through those actions which are actually building the right name. That's how the Tata has always been talked about. It is talked about as a committed place. It is talked about a place wherein you stick by your words. You will never give a back out. There are people who are socially driven. So many social initiatives are being taken up by the Tata. So that's where you're talking of these things which are more meaningful. And when your these things are more meaningful, your company definitely is going to have a brand name, which will be valued. The message that you are communicating to the people across, they'll understand that whatever this person is saying, whatever this company is making will be something good. It has a value, it has a quality for the money that they are paying. So I think um, th this is one person from India who has developed that credibility and his presence in the company has a very magnificent, magnificent impact. There are equal number of followers who go to Tata 
but there are equal number of followers rather more than the tata there are followers with the ratan tata and when he says something people just obey they won't raise any questions that reputation has been built over several years and then when you are working it's good to have some more face and i'm talking of these faces now these are very common people who have just used social media in the right manner and today are the influencers if you see a social media handle or a account which has more than a million account that's an asset people are looking to have such kind of reach people will be happy to pay you it is an additional stream of income which is much meaningful in today's time at the moment we don't say that there is a school who teaches what should be the right strategy to be an influencer but these are these people who have more than a million followers with them these three have the different strategies to work on and they are earning you you could be a founder and again you could be a person who can be an influencer or you can have a sum of these kind of people who are already influencers can be hired and you can make them as the brand ambassador for your brand or you can also ask them to be the face if they are the face of your organization whatever they are saying will be understood at least being reached to more than a million people more are the number of reaches more are the number of followers and the likes that these people have these on their handles better is going to be the impact it is kind of an old ways when in old days when we used to have the marketing with some celebrity and the models and the international models today much of it has been taken up by the social media influencers so i think i have almost completed my presentation and this is a 40 minutes presentation if there are some any questions which we could have and take up for the next 10 minutes that will be great